Welcome back to Sin City Prepping. Evie said she wouldn't do another video unless I did one, so you guys are stuck with me today. Uh, today we're going to do some beef jerky. We're going to be dehydrating our beef jerky at 165 degrees. And this recipe says it can be done within four hours. Mine's been anywhere from six to ten hours. It just depends on how thick it's cut, how, uh, how humid it is, and I have no idea why it takes sometimes 10 hours. Also depends if you like it a little more chewy. I don't make any beef jerky that I think is gonna last 25 years because we eat it all within a couple of weeks. So that's how we are right now. However, if things changed in the future, which we all think they may, then you could actually dehydrate your meat even further pull all the moisture out of it, and then it would last longer, especially if you sealed it up in some mylar bags, oxygen absorbers, and you could make it last maybe up to a year, maybe. I'm not a pro, but my stuff just doesn't last that long because we eat it. Um, so we need to go over the meat selection that you're gonna look for are the more lean cuts. And so any of the top round, bottom round, eye of round, any of those which are, are good cuts they're the cheaper cuts also because they're not as tender as some of the steak cuts that we're going to get like New York steak or a porterhouse ribeye so these you're not going to be buying, spending nine dollars a pound to who knows what they're going to be in the near future uh, I try to watch for when it's on sale and that's when I'm going to do beef jerky I want to get to know your the people at your meat counter uh, the butcher cuts and slices the meat for me, which saves me a lot of time. It gets all the meat very similar in, in uh, thickness, which helps it in the dehydrator. Um, and I pay him a little bit in beef jerky. We're gonna prep it all, marinate it. It's gonna sit overnight, and then we're gonna start it in the dehydrator first thing in the morning. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna mix up the marinade and have it ready. Then I'm gonna have to trim up this, the meat. You have to pull out all the fat you can. So anything around the edges, if you have a big strip of fat right down the middle, we're gonna trim that out. It'll never dehydrate. It's what makes your beef jerky go rancid because the, those fats, they just don't dehydrate out. So you're sucking, you need to suck all the moisture out to make it last. And so what we'll do is we'll mix it up. We're gonna trim it up. And as I trim it, we'll throw it right in the marinade, get it mixed up. All right guys, this is a super simple recipe. We're just gonna mix all the ingredients together. All right, we'll get this all mixed up. We're gonna move on to the meat. Uh, you're gonna wanna start with a very sharp knife, just makes it uh, easier for trimming up the, the uh, all the fat out of your meat. This here is about $35 worth of uh, eye of round roast. Like I said, I had the butcher cut it up for me. Still gonna have to trim off all this fat, so. Here's the pieces he cut up for me. If you look at the sides, you can see these pieces of fat. All that has to be trimmed off. Especially if you want it to last longer than two weeks. All right, so that piece don't worry about these little veins marbling in here. That's gonna be just fine. Put all your stuff off the edges off. Throw it in your... So we're gonna be very careful as the meat sticks together so it'll look like it's done. You see how this didn't, doesn't have anything on it. So you really gotta... I'm gonna massage it in, 
pull the pieces apart. Make sure that the marinade is getting on every little piece. See how it didn't have any there? There's none there. We get it buried in the marinade, but yet it's not getting anything on it. So just gotta make sure you pull it all apart. Because if the marinade's not on it, it's not gonna taste good tomorrow. some uh, saran wrap or press and seal over the top of it. And I said, when you think about it, you can move it around. Right now it's sucked up all that marinade and uh, move it around and let it soak up some more. Put it, put it back in the fridge till tomorrow. Good morning guys, I just wanted to show you what the jerky looks like after marinating all night. See, it's a lot of liquid in the bottom, so I'm gonna mix it all together again, get it nice and saturated, and then I'm gonna move it over and put it on the, on the trays. I just put a cookie sheet under it so that if it drips, it catches all that. So that's where we're gonna do next. So here's our stack of meat. So I just wanted to show you this. Make sure that when you're laying them out, you make sure they're all flat, because as they sit in the marinade, they tend to want to stick to each other. So you just want to pull them all flat. And see, the meat will definitely soak up all that marinade, so don't let it fool you. All right, let's go get this in the dehydrator. All right, guys, all the meat is in there. So I use a Magic Meal dehydrator. This one, I think, is a 10 tray. You can get smaller ones. And then you just put one of the fruit leather trays on the bottom for when they drip. But uh, this is really simple to use. You just hit the start. It starts at 165, which is right where we want it. It's gonna to default to 10 hours. Uh, we can always add time later. And then we shut the door and let it work. And uh, we'll come check her in a couple hours. All right, it's been a couple hours, so I just wanna check on it. Um, sometimes there'll be little puddles of grease that you can dab off to help it out as it dehydrates. I don't see any right now. It's looking good. Let her keep on going. You can see, uh, see it's very bendy. It's got a long ways to go. All right, so it's been seven hours and about 20 minutes. I've been checking this every 30 minutes because it's been getting really close and I think we're ready. It's a good way to check them. When you pull them out, you can see that it's white in there. There's no outside juices and then a lot of times they'll crack. I'm not sure if you can hear that on there. So we're gonna pull these out. All right, that's a whole batch of jerky. Now all we have to do is eat it. Let's ask the expert. It's really good. <laughs> Hope you guys got something out of this. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and if you have a good jerky recipe, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. You guys have a great night. Ah. So this one's pretty easy. We're just gonna uh, figure out how to do it.